Um, yesterday w went pretty well. Um, the major thing that I'm noticing is the snacking. I can't, I'm having a hard time with that. Just being in the house, it, you kind of want a mindless snack and I'm finding that, you know, while I'm working on videos and editing, it's just that urge to just want to reach for something and just eat while you're doing it, just mindless snacking. So that's one of the issues that I, I keep running into and that was my major issue yesterday. So if you see my footage from yesterday, you'll see that um, I did snack a lot yesterday. Um, but I'm gonna try to control that. Um, and I just love cherries. It's that cherries you can't get all year round, so when they are finally in season, I just I just wanna eat them all. But uh, yeah, so by the end of the day, um, thank goodness I didn't have any headaches or anything like that. I felt fine. I actually went to, um, I fell asleep pretty quickly. And once I fell asleep, I slept throughout the entire night. I was sleeping so hard that when my alarm went off for me to take my medications, I just shut it off and I didn't even take my medicine. And Which is strange because usually when that alarm goes off, I'm up. Sometimes I'm even up before the alarm just because I can't sleep. But I slept so peacefully last night and I mean, it's, it's a good and bad thing because I, I skipped my medicine from 6 a.m. Um, and I kind of woke up this morning. I slept kind of late, so I didn't wake up until about 8, 8 o'clock, I want to say. So when I woke up, I did feel really fatigued because I didn't have any medications in my system, but I felt well rested. And the thing with my and gravis is that there's a huge difference between feeling fatigued and like sleepy. I woke up this morning feeling wet, well rested. I felt like I, I you know, had an ample amount of sleep. However, I felt very fatigued because I did miss my medications and I felt, it feels as if it takes more energy um, just to exist pretty much. So um, normally when a healthy person wakes up in the morning, you know, they feel refreshed, they're well rested and then you can go about your day if, you know, you feel energized. With people with myasthenia gravis, when they're symptomatic, usually the fatigue is as if, um, how can I explain? The best way I can explain it is that um, that feeling that you get after a long day, you know, you're not necessarily sleepy, but you're exhausted just because you've been you've been up all day, you've been to work, and you you know you you cooked, you cleaned, you took care of the kids, whatever the case may be. And towards the end of the day, you're feeling tired, but you're not really sleepy. You just want to relax. Well, that's kind of the feeling that um, people with myasthenia get just waking up in the morning sometimes or just taking a shower or whatever the case may be. So with me, because I slept through my meds this morning, when I did finally wake up, it felt like I was at the end of my day already, but I felt well rested. So I hope you kind of understand that. I'm, it's kind of hard to explain, but um, that's the only thing. I, I got ample sleep, <sighs> great sleep. I didn't wake up in the middle of the night. That was awesome. but. Um, definitely forgot I definitely stuck through my medication so that's not good so <laughs> so this morning um, when I did wake up um, I did not feel nauseous and that's probably because I didn't take my medicine but I didn't feel nauseous I didn't have any stomach aches and I actually woke up feeling like I was ready to eat I wasn't hungry like starving but I felt like okay yep it's time to have breakfast like my body was ready for breakfast so um whew, I'm, it's so hot <laughs> Um, so today I know I have um, some doctor's appointments to go to so um, before I leave the house I'm going to try to have um, a decent uh, breakfast I guess it's kind of it's, it's like nine o'clock right now so I'm gonna have something to eat and then right before I leave the house for my appointment I'm going to eat again because um, I know I'm gonna be outside for a while and just finding compliant stuff outside everybody knows that's difficult so I don't want to set myself up for failure so I'm going to have my breakfast, and for breakfast, I am having... So I wanted to make sure I had a you know a decent amount of food today. So what I did is, um, for breakfast, I just boiled me some hot dogs, and um, while I was in the shower, I boiled the hot dogs first, and then I um, put them in my little toaster oven so they can get kind of crispy. I also put my sweet potato from yesterday inside of the toaster oven. My toaster oven has like, you can put both of the trays in there. So I put both trays in there and I let them kind of toast up a little bit. I'm having lunch with 
with my mom today. So before I left the house, I had some cashews just to hold me over so I don't eat bad while I'm out here. So hopefully mom doesn't eat anything that's too tempting for me. Um, I'll check back to show you what I have for lunch. Bye! So it's around 4.45, 5 o'clock, and um, I had lunch around, um, I guess, 1 o'clock, and um, I had, I just, as you saw, I only had the uh, salad, and it was just lettuce, tomatoes, cucumber, onion, and um, carrots, and all I put on it was uh, oil and vinegar as my dressing, and it was actually good. It satisfied me, but that, I only had the salad, I didn't have anything else. I did have some cashews before I went, just so that... I wasn't too hungry, but now um, it's just a few hours later and I'm feeling really, really hungry now. And I actually have a slight headache. And look at what Christian has. Huh? Yeah. Mm hmm. Go what? ahead. Show the world what I have to deal with. Exactly. And it smells delicious. I just want some, but I can't have any. See, this is Whole30 real life. This is what you have to deal with. He doesn't care about my struggle. He doesn't care. Yes, let the world see. <laughs>